Okay, great. So we're going to add liquidity to the pool. So let's uh, let's go through uh, the process we're going to use. Do you want to do you want to just give a summary of it? We were just talking a little bit about like we're going to um, yeah we're going to mint DUSD. First we're going to bridge step. the ETH to Arbitrum. Exactly. Yeah. The first two things we need for preparation is to bridge the Arbitrum, add the ETH to Arbitrum, so we have it available there. Mm -hmm. And then uh, we mint the uh, same amount of DUSD that we want to add to the pools. And then the third step will be adding the liquidity to the sushi pool. Okay, perfect. So I suggest we start with the bridging. So that would be uh, you go to bridge.arbitrum.io. Okay, so just a second. So I'm going to go, I'm going to share my screen. Okay, so this is my, this is my app. Is cool. We're gonna go. Do I have it already? No. Okay. Here we go. Okay, and, and uh, now we need to check which address you are connected with. Oh yeah, the right one already, perfect. Yeah. So I suggest we send one uh, as a test, and then after that we do it in batches, just for uh, good practice and security reason. The one yeah. is to make sure everything is technically working well, and then the 50 is in case somebody is sitting in the middle, like if if I wanted to steal your money and I see you bridging less than one percent, I would let that go through, and yeah. then wait for the big bridge. So uh, that's why, yeah, we do one, make it make sure all the tech stuff is working right, and once that is received, then we do it in batches afterwards, and not the full amount as as a single transaction. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, exactly. So yeah, one looks good. That's, you that's great. So here we go. So we yes. all agree this is uh, the previous stuff that we've done. So you can see the balance that I'm holding here. You can see it on essentially the Arbitrum balance here, right? So I'm going to deposit one ETH, right? Yes. OK. OK. Okay, so I'm sending it from a main account here. I've confirmed it. Interesting. Yeah, I see the transaction pending on mainnet now. Yeah. And now it's confirmed. So that looks good. Goes to the Arbitrum inbox. That looks okay. okay and good. yeah, now we just need to wait a little and can check the Arbiscan page on the other end. Um, I can paste to the address. Uh, Okay. Yeah, and so the only important thing now is that you don't refresh the bridge site in between uh, yeah. the test transaction and the subsequent uh, transaction, and you don't change your wallets or anything, just so sure. that it that the the setup we use for the testing um, is the same as 
Yeah, it's annoying. Yep. Okay, here we go. Yeah, so this will probably take some time. I think on the bridge side, it said uh, nine minutes is the estimated yeah. arrival time. Yeah. And take, uh, yeah, like 15 minutes or so sometimes. Right, um, right. Sometimes it's faster as well. So, yeah, now we basically wait for this to go through. If it goes through and we see it on the Arby scan uh, that we arrived, uh, that the one ETH arrived, um, then you just keep doing it in in batches like over the next uh, hour or so um always yeah checking that that it arrived properly yes of then, course uh, sending the next okay that's great so let's i know you've got a lot on so let's just let's disconnect now and um uh i'll confirm where i've got it maybe we'll if you have time we'll connect again otherwise i'll just keep doing it until it's all bridged and then we'll connect again when you when mm -hmm. you can and we'll we'll mint mm -hmm. the dusd and add liquidity Okay, perfect. Sounds good. Then okay. yeah, just let me know when uh, it's bridged and then uh, we, we do the next steps. Sounds good. Okay, I'll chat with you soon. All right. Thanks, cool. Nick. Talk to you okay. later. Bye-bye.